Hi, welcome to our main homestead. Today I'm going to show you how we use our sheep to kind of clear some areas, kind of as lawnmowers, even though it's not actually a lawn. So obviously this piece behind us got a little overgrown. Um, we've been moving the sheep in other areas obviously so I decided to move a section of the fence up here and see how long it basically took them to clear it out. Right now there's probably three foot high in places uh, things grown up and we'll see what it looks like in a couple of days. So this is a place up by the house where there's a mound. Um, underneath it is our gray water line that runs from the cabin down a little ways um, down beside the shed. But um, it grows up really fast, obviously, and um, it's not very easy to cut. Um, I've never tried it, but and I'm not going to try it. Decided to move a section of fence over here and just put the sheep in here for a little while every day, uh, maybe a couple times a day, and uh, let them eat it down, and then I'll move them down further. And, um, you know, it's free food, number one, and they like it, and it does a really good job. So it's a multi-purpose kind of thing, and... Um, We'll see how long it takes them to clear this area. So we have Katahdin Dorper crosses. Uh, that's the type of sheep we have. And one of the really good things about this breed, there's a lot of, lot of different good things, but um, they are very good grazers, almost as good as goats. Goats are known for eating just about anything. And these sheep are a little bit picky, but for the most part, they will eat um, pretty much anything that's in any of the green areas around uh, the cabin. And of course, out in the pasture, which we're developing um, for them specifically, them and horses, um, they'll eat the majority of that down and they will clean an area out relatively quickly because now we have uh, six adults and four babies and the babies are jumping right in and trying to compete with the big ones it seems like. Another thing about the uh, Katahdin Dorper crosses, Katahdin sheep are meat sheep basically but they're also hair sheep so they don't really produce wool. They produce some wool and they, their coat definitely thickens in the winter time but um, in the spring, as you can see right here on the black sheep that I'm showing you, um, they shed their coat. So it's almost like a dog, but they start shedding that coat. And you can see, <sighs> mosquito, you can see on the top part of him, that's still his winter wool coat. And then down below there, there's a line where he's rubbed off and shed a lot of that coat. So the dark, really dark black area is what it'll look like for the rest of the summer. Another good thing about these sheep is they're um, a decent dairy sheep. So they will produce a, a good amount of uh, milk. They're not just a dairy sheep. They're kind of a dual purpose sheep, which we like dual purpose things around here. But um, we should get uh, roughly a quart of milk a day um, from, from each ewe uh, once we start milking, which is coming up soon. So one of the goals of this video is just to show you how efficient they are at clearing grown up areas. Um, we don't have a lawnmower. Well, we do have a push reel mower, but we don't have any areas that are really smooth enough to run it on at this point. Uh, but you see the solar panel there, the cabin, um, and then this stack of wood here. So you can kind of use that as a reference. And then how tall the grass is today on day one um, compared to them and where they're eating. And... Um, I'll only leave them in here maybe a couple hours in the morning, a couple hours in the evening, and then uh, they'll go back into where their kind of house is, temporary house is. But we'll, um, over the next couple of days, we'll see how much they eat this down. So it's about 5.30 a.m. I just moved the sheep from where they spent the night um, back into this area that I'm letting them clean up. They were in here yesterday for about two hours and um, you can see what they've done <laughs> so far. Some of that's trampled. Um, you're gonna get some trample, especially when the, the uh, grass is that tall. But most of it is, has been eaten down and, um, and they'll continue to work on it today. They may have it pretty much clear today or I may bring them back in here for a little bit tomorrow, but um, I'll let them stay in here for couple of hours again this morning let them go back and rest and spend the warmer part of the day resting and then bring them back in here 
late in the afternoon, let them maybe finish it up. This is where the sheep spent the night. I've had their shelter and the fence up in this area for about a week, and you can see it's pretty bare. Um, so they're not going to get a whole lot of grazing out of this area. And if you look right there, you can see outside the fence compared to inside the fence what it looks like. So I knew it was too good to be true. They all followed me straight in there first thing this morning going to their breakfast buffet. Uh, they were in there all of about 30 minutes before over half of them escaped. Um, so some are still working on cleaning up the area. I asked them to, but... Um, let me see if I can round them up and get them back in there or just put them back in their pen for a while. Um, they've been in here now for a total of about two and a half hours. And you can see they've cleaned it up pretty nicely. There's certain things obviously they don't like, don't, don't focus on, and they've trampled down some. But for the most part, they've uh, cleared it up at least enough where you can walk through there without having knee-high grass everywhere <laughs> so here's a little closer up view of the area that I had the sheep in they um, were out here for about four hours or so and you can see how much they really cleaned it up they would eat more of this uh, probably but obviously it's not their preferable diet so um, we won't put them through that, but they cleaned it up really well. At least it's manageable now. That over there is what it looked like when we started. So in about four hours, they turned an area like that, really grown up and overgrown, into an area like this. Bare, not totally cleaned up, but uh, pretty well cleaned up. So one of the great things about being able to use the sheep as lawnmowers Eventually, our plan is to have all of our garden areas, any um, areas that we don't want animals in, fenced in, in one flat fashion or another, to keep the animals out. And then everything else will be fair game. So basically, when we're here and out and about during the day, we can turn the sheep loose. They don't have to stay in their pasture. We can turn them loose on the homestead, and they can actually graze anywhere that they can't get into a fence. Um, and it, we're pretty well enclosed and we're a mile back off of the main road so uh, we don't have to worry about the sheep getting into too much trouble that way we're a little ways from that point um right now but hopefully by next year we have that uh set up and ready to go thanks for watching our sheep be lawnmowers um please hit the subscribe button thanks for watching uh please give us a thumbs up if you like the video Hit the subscribe button and follow along with us and leave us a comment and we'll be glad to get back to you. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.